Hey guys, and welcome back once again. This is Final Flame, and today got something different to show you. Um, you probably don't recognize this world. If you did, I'd actually be kind of worried. This is my original single player world that I first started playing Minecraft on. Now, why am I on this? Well, unfortunately, in the corner of my room sits my good computer which has been having some issues lately with overheating finally figured out what the problem is got some new parts ordered um but until that part comes in in a couple days i am unable to use it and i will be right back and sorry about that had to move the cat there hey, hey look a chicken so anyway I'm currently on my older computer, which is what I started playing Minecraft on, and I happened to look and notice I had not joined this world in a little over, no, a little under two years. And so I decided to log in and check it out, and I've already started walking around. You can see the sun's starting to set. This is kind of my front yard. Oh, uh, and by the way, while it's in my head, we are currently on Minecraft release 1.4.5. That is the last... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The last client this was used on. So I didn't want to update it. I wanted to see how things were. You can see the lighting over there. I'm also got kind of worse graphics. So let's turn around. And over here is my dirt hut. A.K.A. house. That's so I can find it at night. Ugh, sorry about the horrible FPS. Way out over there I think is the actual spawn. Here I'm at... 255 negative 118. Alright, so let's go inside. I never even put down a floor, I just left it as is. Wow. Things are about the same as it was. My first home. First ever house I built in Minecraft. And I think I started here just because it was getting night and I needed a place to live, and this started as, you know, your little hole. Just got my bed down here, my actual bedroom. Over here, just a back exit into this area. I don't know why that's set up like that. It's just a little cave area. Um, by the way, we are on peaceful. I never did turn mobs on in this one. Really, because I didn't play it all too much. After a couple days of doing this, I ended up on the sing or on the multiplayer server. Let's go look at the chess. I remember having the skylight here. And this will tell you how long it's been. Look at how the food's stacked. One piece per slot. Yes, I remember those days. Got some wool bread. I don't recall ever making a golden apple, but apparently I made a golden apple for some reason. Let's see in this chest, a bunch of dirt, some stone slabs. There's all my iron. All 58 of it. Nothing too fancy. A couple crafting tables. Out here is a back exit, a back entrance, however you want to call it. Now, for some reason I thought I had a ladder, I don't know why. So and you can see the window there, we'll go down there later. Now over in that direction you can see a pillar, dirt pillar with a torch on top. If you keep going that direction you'll see a bunch of them, just kind of as breadcrumbs. I don't remember exactly why, I remember taking a trip out there one time in a boat just to kind of go exploring. I don't even remember how far I went. But I left those there, that way I could always find my way back. I remember seeing some cool things. And now, I never went back. And I don't remember what was even out there. And holy cow, I need to turn down this music. Wow, I can barely hear myself. Hope y'all can hear me. Alright, over there is something we'll check out a bit later. Nothing of interest over here. That's about it for this entrance. Alright, so let's head downstairs. And I don't remember the stone one half slabs looking like that originally. Maybe they did. Alright, got two a split here. Got the entrance over here. And out of habit I'm looking for things like creepers, because you know you play survival for so long and hard difficulty, you learn to look out for those things. There's another exit here with a little window surrounding it, and if you go down here This is a horrible entrance here. This is my furnace room. Got a bunch of fur- 
Hey, I got bricks. Hey, more bricks. Let's see, is there anything else in these? Just some more bricks. My chest, oh, here's all my ores. Some bricks, gold, oh, more iron, pressure plate. Some coal, redstone, ooh, four diamonds. I never used diamonds. You look at my tools and it was all iron. Never had a bow, well, I guess I never really had a reason to have a bow, never got the string. Over here, with the door that is so useful, this is one of the entrances to my mine. And if you go this way, this takes you someplace I will take you shortly. I don't remember my way around the mine or anything in there, so I'm not going to get lost in there. I remember putting this door there like, oh my god, it'll keep the monsters out, because I know there were so many monsters, so I'm peaceful. Uh, there's another side, well, yeah, actually. Okay, make sure I remember my way. This isn't another main hall. But you got a door over here leading out to the side. And then you go back in here. Oh, yeah, pressure plate. And go down here. This is kind of my second home. Again, I did such a great job on the flooring. <laughs> Little glass roof, skylight, large one, if you will. Got my bed, got some bookshelves. If you go over in here, if I can move. Let's see, oh, there's all my farming stuff. A lot of water buckets. A ton of saplings, sugar, moss stone. And seeing as I told you that I hadn't logged into here in two years, I think you can guess where that came from. We'll be heading there shortly. Oh, some wood, more bookshelves. Down here was another entrance to a mine. I remember digging this, and I remember... I don't know why I didn't the last time. I always kept this covered with regular stone, so it was, like, hidden. But you had to break it and replace it every time. I don't know why I did it. And there's the other entrance to my mine. So if you go back up here... And outside, got a nice little front porch here, lined with some flowers. Got a lot of sugar cane. There was a little pond here, so I used that. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I knew I had wheat somewhere. Figs out here, here's my wheat farm. I don't think I really ever used, but it's here. Yeah, something's bugging me. I see a map of my inventory. Let's see. Eh, it doesn't really show much. Uh, oh, I eat. A, why do I have armor? B, how is it so damaged when I've been playing on peaceful? I don't have a slightest clue. Okay. I see I also have a boat in my inventory. I think I meant to make another journey out that way and never did. Alright, so, going to walk a bit this way now, and show you where that one tunnel will take us. I'll just follow it from the outside, it's nothing fancy inside. You can see I dug up every bit just to, so you can see outside. But that one's kind of off to the side. It's going to lead over to that pillar over there. There's another piece of glass down there through the tree and the curved over here, went right, and then went straight. So many sounds, it's a pig. I'm, just, I'm still in the mindset, oh my god, zombie or something. Some more, it's the path. It comes out to over here. Complete with door and pressure plate. <laughs> So you come out over here. I don't even remember why I built it over here, but there was one thing of interest. I don't even remember how I discovered it. Nice little cave over here. You see that cobblestone in there? This here was my very first spawner. Nice little zombie spawner. It's never spawned a zombie. It, I mean, it would try spawning up just like there, but then it disappears because you're unpeaceful. And what oh, thought was crashing there. And you can see I got all the moss stone out. Um, got the chest. Heck if I remember what was in the chest. I know a saddle because I saw a saddle in my chest. But yeah, my first ever spawner. That was a kind of nice, kind of a lucky find. I mean, lucky that was so close to the surface. And that's 
pretty much it. I never, like, I didn't build anything fantastic. Um, as I said, I did do some exploring off that way, but I don't even remember what was there. Or why I marked some places. I think, ooh, I think it was like, ooh, that could be a nice place to build at some point, but I never did. Yeah, because again, I just stopped playing single player um, once I was able to do a multiplayer. I was hoping you could see the next pillar over there. I know if I had my uh, render distance turned up, you could probably see it, but on this computer, I just cannot do that. And yeah, I mean, it's a pretty long breadcrumb, breadcrumb trail. So yeah, it's about in this world. I don't actually plan on doing anything on this. Again, I mean, this was mostly just visiting for the memories. I'm kind of sad that I tried Alt F4 so it wouldn't save the world, so it could still say last logged in. The date was November 20th, 2012. And today is what, September 14th, 2014? So it's been almost two years. Which really doesn't feel like it. I was amazed. I knew I had a ladder over here for somewhere for some reason. I forgot. I led up to this entrance. I think I might have been before I built that. Built that, yeah. So yeah, I don't plan on doing anything on this world. Um, in two days, I should have a new heat sink for the computer. I shouldn't have any issues getting that installed. And hopefully, that'll fix my problem. No more overheating. And then I can go back to recording on Swago Faults. I can barely even play there on this computer. I'm lucky if it lets me log in half the time. I'm amazed I'm able to record this video. I mean, I don't know how horrible it's going to come out. We'll see. Let alone how, how bad it'll be to uh, upload it. Why does the dirt look different? Huh. Um, but anyway, future plans. More recording on Swago. Um, <laughs> um, currently, uh, since I don't know when it'll be uploaded, I'm in the process of making another episode. Uh, kind of <sighs> had to do two short parts to it just to prevent overheating before it really just crapped down on me. I mean, I can turn it on, but it's just going to overheat again. Um, so working on a project there, um, as soon as I get the computer back up and running, I will work on finishing that up. That should be my next video. I also still have, I believe, two more episodes of Zelda Adventures, and then I have another map lined up to go after that. Also, I still want to get the single player series. Uh, dang it, get through the door. Get through the door. There we go. Good job, Final. You're good at this game. Uh, still want to get a single player series going. Really about the only thing holding me up at this point is I'm trying to come up with some sort of name for it. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, once I get a name for it, I'll actually be able to, you know, start playing. Um, I do need to look for a seed for that so I can make it kind of interesting. Don't really know what my goal's going to be in there, but just enjoy it, have fun. So yeah, it's pretty much what I got coming up. Uh oh, my hunger bar. I don't want to eat. No. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got coming up. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. Enjoyed how bad of a builder I was. I mean, you see, I built one thing. That little house outside. And <laughs> as you can see, the main part of the house was dug into a... Well, if you can call this a mountain, what is it? It's a plains biome. It's a little hill. So, yeah, this was... I have a habit of just digging into these things and calling it a house, but hey, it worked. Well, not too bad. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, keep tuned and stay tuned, whatever, and hopefully I'll have some more videos out soon. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed it, please, whoop, there we go, uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.